In this video I will explain what the steel designation numbers mean in the North American steel classification system. In my previous title on steel types, uh, you have seen some of these numbers on the board uh, with a couple of axes standing in place for some of the digits. And uh, we have looked at this sheet that has uh, some elements of this numbering system, how it works for North American steels. So you can see that for, all, for only carbon and alloy steels, so it doesn't include tool steels and it doesn't work for stainless steels. That's another story. All carbon steels start with digit 1 and uh, the rest of the alloy steels start with uh, uh, digits 1, 3 and up. Now, here where you see X's, uh, there is a carbon content is going to plug in there in all of these steel designations and uh, the rest of the digits you can see they mean a certain percentage of manganese or nickel or whatever the steels contain. As for the uh, carbon percentages, low carbon steel contains so much carbon, uh, this is not half a percent, this is 0.05 percent, five hundredth of a percent and this one is fifteen hundredth of a percent. And I guess it may be a little easier to compare these numbers if I make this one a 30 and this one a 60 and again this is not 60 percent carbon, this is not 6 percent carbon, this is 0 0.6 percent carbon a little over half a percent. Okay. Now, if a steel, for example, contains 0.1 percent carbon, what this means is that out of a hundred kilograms of finished steel product, 99.9 percent .9 is iron, and 0.1 percent is carbon and it also means at the same time that 99.9 .9 kilogram is iron and 0.1 kilogram is carbon. And this is 0.1 kilogram. It's the same as 100 grams. And uh, 100, uh, this 100 grams is about, uh, let me see, about 3 ounces. And uh, 100 kilograms is approximately 220 pounds. Now, how much steel has 100, how much steel does 100 kilogram of steel take up? Envision this countertop here, this is our, our tabletop here. Uh, envision a small table, a really small four-person kitchen table that's about three feet long, two feet wide, and they're about one inch thick. This piece weighs approximately, that means approximately equal to 100 kilograms or, or 220 pounds. And in metric terms, this is about one meter, this is half a meter, and this one is, now I'm stuck here, but I'm just going to write two and a half centimeters, because that's about one inch, 2.54. So a table that's one meter by half a meter by uh, 2.54 centimeters thick is gonna weigh also 100 kilograms. So imagine that size of table and this much carbon is in it. In our case the product is low carbon steel. If it's got say twice as much carbon, 200 grams of carbon which is 0 0.2 kilograms, yeah, 200 grams is the same as 0 0.2 kilograms 
That means that it's got 0.2% carbon in it. And if it's got 0.2% carbon in it, it is mild steel. Now, what does this have to do with the numbering system? These last two digits will give you the percentage of carbon content, very simple, in uh, its uh, decimal format. So 1080 steel, the 80 means that it's got 0.80% carbon in it. And 1050 steel means that it's got 0. Let's see. 0.50% carbon in it. That's not 50%, that's half a percent. And that's not 80% carbon, that's 0.8% carbon. So you're gonna have to imagine the decimal dot here everywhere and then just say percentage. So 0.8% carbon, 0.5% carbon. And here is a specification for uh, this 1080 steel. Here, yeah, take a better look this way. 1080 steel, and if we do go down to the bottom of the list here, you can see carbon, there, either which way. A manufacturer is given a uh, little bit of uh, wiggle room here, but you can see that the average amount of these two is 0.8% carbon. So there you have it. One more thing steels contain, and that is Manganese. All steels contain also manganese, which has uh, been added recently, say the last 50, 70 years, something like that. So it hasn't been done so for thousands of years or something like that. Uh, and you can see that they all contain, well, now I'm going to round it to 0.7%. How about that one? Now, 0.7% of manganese means that out of a hundred kilograms of finished product that's 500 700 0 0.7 kilogram or 700 grams is manganese if it's 1080 steel if it's 1080 steel it's gonna have 0.8% carbon in it and 0.8% carbon is gonna be 0.8 kilogram of carbon and the rest of it is gonna be iron so approximately I don't have a calculator I don't know 98.3 something like that So that's how these percentages work and that's what these steel designation numbers mean.